Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with beef birria queso tacos with consomme. That's right, I'm actually filming a super trendy recipe. Well, it's still super trendy, as this thing really is blowing up everywhere. Social media, traditional media, even the other secret media that I'm not supposed to mention. And when you make these, you're going to understand what all the fuss is about. And to get started, you're going to have to have made one batch of beef birria. Which, by the way, we just did a video for. And as I explained in that, I enjoy mine more as a thick stew versus the much more traditional brothy soupy version. But either way, no matter the viscosity, the first thing we'll do is go ahead and pull that leftover beef out of the sauce. And then once that meat's been extracted to a plate, we will simply set it aside and use that to stuff our tacos. And then besides that, the other thing we're going to need is that reserve fat that we skimmed off the top of our stew. Okay, so our beef fat and beef are ready to go. Well, actually not quite yet. What we're going to want to do is take a couple forks, and we will shred this beef before we use it. And of course, how much you shred it's going to be up to you. Although personally, I do prefer to shred mine fairly fine. For the simple reason that when we eventually dip this into our consomme, the finer the beef is shredded, the better it absorbs the liquid, and the wetter your taco will be. So basically, the longer you shred, the more delicious consomme goes into your head. And that's it. Once that's shredded, we'll go ahead and set it aside, and then we'll move on to prep our consomme. And for that, we'll take whatever sauce slash cooking liquid we have left, and we will add enough chicken or beef broth to thin it out to the texture we want. And then we're also going to fortify this with some diced vegetables. In my case, carrots, celery, and cabbage. And what we'll do is give that a stir. And then we'll bring that up to a simmer on high heat. At which point we can back the heat down to medium low. And simply simmer this for about 20 minutes or so. Or until those vegetables are nice and tender. And believe it or not, that is pretty much it. And while that's simmering, one thing I like to do is take a spatula or a spoon and sort of wash down the sides with the hot liquid to release all that cooked on caramelized goodness. Which, as you might know, we refer to around here as side fond. Hashtag side fond. And above and beyond cleaning the sides of the pot, that will definitely also add a little more flavor. And of course, if you'd rather spend like 15 minutes scrubbing that in the sink, go ahead. But for me, this just makes a lot more sense. But anyway, like I said, we'll go ahead and let that simmer for about 20 minutes. Or until those veggies are nice and tender, and it's as thin or thick as we want. And no, in case you went to culinary school, this is not a classic consomme, which according to the textbooks is supposed to be perfectly clear, whereas this is the opposite of that. But that's fine, this is so amazing, we're just going to go with it. And that's it, we'll just go ahead and keep that hot over low heat, while we move on to build our tacos. And to do that, we will put a couple teaspoons of that reserve fat in a skillet that we have set over medium heat. And as soon as that melts, we'll go ahead and toss in a couple corn tortillas. And we'll go ahead and toss those around until they are well coated. And as I was doing that, I decided I needed a little more. Which reminds me, the pros use about four times as much fat. So trust me, even though it looks like I'm using a lot, I'm really not. But of course, you use as much of that stuff as you want. I mean, you are after all the Jackie Gleason of your greasing. But to summarize, you're definitely going to want enough to coat both sides generously. Oh, and also, don't use tongs to flip these things because you're going to tear them, which I sort of did. So I course corrected and grabbed a spatula. And all we're going to do here over medium heat is give those an initial toasting, just until they start to get a little bit golden brown. Okay, ever so slightly. And then as soon as that happens, we'll go ahead and scatter over our cheese, which in my case is some beautiful Monterey Jack. And I'm definitely going for full coverage. And of course, we're going to grate that ourselves, since it's so much better and cheaper. And we should never under any circumstances buy it already shredded. And then once our cheese is down, we'll go ahead and top that with our beef. Okay, as much as you want, but don't forget we need to fold these things. So don't go too crazy here. But having said that, I was still fairly generous. And that's it. Once we've beefed our cheese, we're going to dip a ladle into our consomme and drizzle over about a tablespoon onto each taco, which of course is going to add moisture to the beef, but it's also going to help our tortilla remain flexible and foldable. And that's it. After the consummation, we'll go ahead and add the last ingredients which is a big old spoon of diced white onions and freshly chopped cilantro. So we'll go ahead and scatter a generous amount of that over each one, at which point we will attempt to fold these in half. And please do as I say and not as I just did. Do not press these too hard. All right, we don't want to squeeze out too much of that moisture. Although having said that, it's not a huge deal, because pretty much everything that leaks out is going to be reabsorbed back in as these toast. And while these are cooking because they are fairly well stuffed, if you have to push some of that beef and cheese back in, go ahead. Alright, that's just you tucking. 
And then basically at this point, these are done when you want them to be done. Okay, what I do is just go ahead and flip them back and forth until those tortillas are as crispy and crusty as I want. And then once we think we've gone far enough, we'll go ahead and plate those up. And then of course, as promised, we'll go ahead and ladle up some of that consomme, which as you're about to see, we're gonna use as a dip. And then classically, our consomme will be garnished with some more white onions and cilantro. And then just as importantly, before we start enjoying this, I definitely think we should squeeze some fresh lime juice over the top, since that beautiful fruity and fragrant acidity is gonna help us cut through all this fatty richness. And that's it, our beef birria queso tacos, con consomme, is ready to enjoy. And by enjoy, I mean dip, soak, and bite. And that, my friends, on its own, would be an amazing beef and cheese taco. But when it's also being soaked in that amazingly flavorful, super savory, aromatic broth, to say that takes it up to another level is definitely an understatement. And I'm not exactly sure why, but usually the consomme is only used as a dip. But since I went through the effort of chopping and adding those vegetables, I'm going to go ahead and grab a spoon and enjoy my consomme as a soup while I eat my tacos. To me, that just makes sense. Oh, and the last thing I'll mention is that these tacos are normally made with two tortillas and like twice as much filling, but I've never been a huge fan of the double tortilla taco, so I much prefer to use two single tortillas and then just put like half the amount of ingredients in each, at which point I'm able to enjoy two smaller, more user-friendly tacos versus one much larger, much, much more messier one. But anyway, that's it. My take on what is currently the world's trendiest taco. As usual, I'm not claiming this is authentic, but I am claiming that it's amazing, which is why I really do hope you give this a try soon. So please follow the links below for the ingredient amounts, a printable written recipe and much more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.